Hey you guys, it's time once again for another project. This is something that I've not done before, so I figured I better film it. So, I'll give you a quick look. This, as you can see, is a ram horn. If you follow me on my Instagram and Facebook, um, it's a crazy time of year and I've got a lot going on between the dental lab that is my main source of income. And this is all of my merchandise. Got lots of shirts and uh, some hats and some stuff like that that I'm excited to be able to offer people now. Also some decals. But anyways, part of the Bone Tats brand, of course, is offering the service with, you know, doing the sheds and the heads and all that kind of stuff. But the other part of what I'm trying to do is build a, a brand. With the tattoos and with just that sort of artwork, I want to create also a lifestyle brand of clothing and hats and just stuff like that. Something that's super cool that people can rep. Um, anyways, really exciting. That gives you just a quick look at the Bone Tat store, which is going great. In fact, I just barely got a notification. Right there that said somebody ordered a shirt just a minute ago. So thank you, Travis Riley. That's you, buddy. Appreciate it. So I just broke out some of the some of the t-shirts real quick just so that I could show you. And then I've got the Bone Tats Black Mule Deer t-shirt. And we got the Banner t-shirt. And then we got the Bone Tats T. And these are the three hats that we've got. The trucker. The flat bill trucker, those are both snapback. And then the all black with silver. So anyways, here's a few of the other projects that I've got coming up. I've got several in the back room as well. But they just keep coming. That one I need to get done quickly, I've had it for a while. Sorry about that, Paul. We'll get to it. So there it is. I'm going to take it out and start uh, creating that canvas, so let's do this thing together. I'm pretty nervous. Alright, here we are, outside in the trusty garage, my shop. You guys have been in here before. Anyways, it is super duper cold outside. It's bitter cold. It's been snowing the last few days. And uh, when it snows here in northern Utah, sorry, get back in the light. Anyways, it gets really, really cold here. But I had to open the garage door so that I can blow the, the bone dust that I'm about to create out the door. So let's grind on this thing and see if we're gonna ruin it or if we're gonna prepare something that's gonna look awesome. My hope is for the latter. All right, here we go. Grab a few tools first. First thing that I'm going to do, got to work quickly before it gets so cold that my hands turn numb, and <clears throat> I'm going to do a little test spot first, right here on the back. I think right here is going to be a great spot for that, so here we go. Kind of scared, but there's nothing else you can do but just dive in. Don't be scared, just do it. Here we go. Horn and bone do not smell the same, nor do they work the same. I'll show you what we got going here in a little bit. I have no idea how this is gonna go. This will be a learning experience. No doubt about it. Janelle, I hope this wasn't a mistake. I hope you don't say to yourself, Jeff, why didn't you just tell me? Let's do an elk shed. Because you may want to change your mind now that I've ruined a good horn. What's up, you guys? All right, so as you saw, I got it all cleaned off and ground down to the point where I can start drying on it. Obviously, it's not an elk shed. It's not a skull, so it's not white. I don't have that nice, pretty white canvas to work from. It's got kind of multicolored and kind of a yellowish 
brown color that it looks like I'm gonna be working with. But I'm gonna quickly show you what I decided to do. So I cleaned off this area last night when I was you know, grinding that other side too. And I decided to just draw my little BT logo as well as do my signature and then color it to get an idea and a feel for how this material is gonna work. And as you can see, it's kind of a pain because you got all this texture and stuff that wants to chip and break away if you start cutting into it. Kind of has to be attached to the whole thing in order for these little pieces to, to stay solid. So as you start cutting in, some of these little pieces were kind of chipping and falling away. But as I got deeper and deeper, I found that it was, it was okay. It was a little bit more solid. So I decided to do my BT logo and my signature, which I do on every signature piece and work backwards to front. So that's what I got going on. So I got that part done. So as you can see, Grand Slam. And then I got the first of the Rams drawn on there. So that's gonna be the goal tonight, is to get this thing all mapped out. So this is Janelle Mannion. She is who this signature piece is for. Rather, it's for her husband as a Christmas present. So today being the 6th of December, she needs to have it by the 21st. So I have my work cut out for me, learning to cut into a new material, but this should be a lot of fun. Some of the things that, that she wants maybe included, her husband Chris, and then he won the award for the Grand Slam having killed all four of the, the the sheep species, the doll sheep, the stone sheep, the California bighorn, and the desert bighorn. So we're gonna try and include all four of those species into the design. Their desert bighorn, the doll sheep, the stone sheep, and the California desert bighorn. Big time hunters, super nice people. So I'm really excited to get this thing going and have you guys see the end result. I'm anxious to see the end result. I hope it turns out good. All right, well, as you just saw on the time lapse, I decided I needed to start my layering technique. So I took that whole layer and dropped it down just so that I can continue my drawing up underneath that ledge. That way we'll get some nice three-dimensional look to it when I start cutting all the details in. So it's going to look sweet. Can't wait to get started tomorrow. Stay tuned. Got a pretty good chunk of work done. Definitely a different material than I've ever cut into before. In some ways it's softer. A lot of ways actually it's softer. But kind of got everything outlined, just kind of starting to work on the layers. But I think it's looking pretty sweet. I'm excited to get to the detail work. That's when it'll 
really get fun. So stay tuned. Hey you guys, sorry my eyes are a little red. I worked until, shoot, I think I sat here at my bench yesterday from about four o'clock in the afternoon until one in the morning. So yeah, it was a long sit at the bench. Anyways, I just couldn't leave because it's such a fun project, something I've never done before. And uh, I was just really excited to keep on going plus i got a deadline got to get this thing done so that janelle can give it to her husband for christmas and then i have another one or two that need to be done by christmas as well so it's going to be a marathon of late nights over the next few weeks because i got to get my dental lab stuff done first as my priority since that's my real job and then these bone tats projects after that so anyways I finally got it all cut in, got up this morning, sharpened up a few things, and it's looking pretty dang cool. Got the scroll work finished up, and then just kind of worked from this left side. 
making my way to the right side. At first I had the Grand Slam raised up, but there was just so much stuff here that wanted to chip and break away that I finally decided to just cut it in deep. And I think I am really happy that I did because it really, it really pops that Grand Slam there. Anyways, super excited with, get that in the light. Anyways, super excited with how it's coming along. It's looking great. And now it's time to figure out how to get the color on it because I want that doll sheep to kind of look white. And then if you've seen a stone sheep, they've kind of got some color to them as well. But then again, I like that internal color of the horn. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do. But it looks pretty sweet and I'm really happy with my result so far. The first coat of color on there looks pretty dark. I just gotta let that dry and then I can start removing some of that color. Just make everything look nice and contrasted and just pop really nicely. So stay tuned for the next part. That's when I think it will look even better. So I'm just kind of taking a little 180 grit sandpaper and just kind of hitting it. Just kind of take that top layer of color off. That's kind of what brings everything to life and makes it look good. All right, I'm getting ready to blow all the dust off. guys all done it turned out so cool the contrast looks so good I'm so happy with how it turned out got the California sheep ram right there got the doll sheep ram the stone sheep ram and the Rocky Mountain big horn Ram. Looks so good. Super happy with how it turned out. I just need to find a spot, get it set up, take some really nice pictures, get a little more video, and then package that thing up and ship it off. So thanks Janelle. Appreciate it. Well I got this rolling. I wanted to show you some of the new gear. We got the tricolor hat the Bone Tats logo. We got the Flex Fit blackout hat. I don't know if you can tell from the video but the patch is really cool because it fades from a darker color down at the bottom and then it gets brighter more silver towards the top. Just looks really sharp. And then the all black comes in not only the Flex Fit but the snapback as well. So you can get any of that stuff on the Bone Tats store at www.bonetats.com as well as see some other cool stuff like other videos on some of the things that I've been making. Anyways, appreciate you guys and all your support. Leaving your comments and your compliments. Just the support really surprises me how, uh, how awesome you guys are. So thank you. 
for following along. Hey you guys, what's happening? So kind of a happy and sad moment. I'm all done with the ram horn for Janelle Mannion. The sad part is I gotta let it go. So that sucks, because I really, really like this piece. Anyways, um, it's been about a week actually since I finished it, but I decided that I wanted to make a nice little pedestal. So I talked to Janelle about it and different kind of pedestal, never done one of these before. I'm calling it a kickstand pedestal. So let's go take a look really quick. Merry Christmas everybody, by the way. And Janelle, there you go. Looks pretty dang sweet. I love the little pedestal. I think it turned out so cool. Got my signature on it. And the piece is all finished. And I think it looks so good. And I'm way excited for you to see it. So Chris, Janelle's husband, this is for you for Merry Christmas. And your wife says she loves you and Merry Christmas to you. And got to get this thing packaged up and shipped out because it's Monday and Christmas is just a week away. So got to get this thing mailed up to Alaska. So thanks for watching you guys. I appreciate it so much.